Pix Blasters is made to work as a super fast LED monitor. It connects to any computer as a monitor and shows any video content from the selected part of computer's video output. Because of that, the Pix Blasters can be used with the professional digital signage software and can be remotely controlled through network interfaces of the driving computer. Besides playing videos, news and other similar content, Sometimes you want to reuse attractive LED effects or to design such effects by yourself. Of course, it is never a bad idea to ask experts for the advice. Here I'm going to show you how you can simply use the great LED Edit software, which is originally designed for use with the SD card LED controllers. LED Edit download is free, search on the link in the video clip description, and the installation is super easy. Upon the software installation, start the LED edit software and start the new project. Here is a list of supported uh, controller types, but, but we will take the first one from the list and that one is actually supporting 2048 LEDs and I'm going to store this new project as Pixie to my local uh, computer folder. And now with the, we have the new project called Pixie and we will proceed to defining our LED display. So the next step is to edit layout. Here I'm going to use this automatic layout option and define the resolution of my test LED display which is going to be 120 by 60. Other parameters like wiring uh, are not important for us. And when I click OK, I can uh, place this, uh, this uh, LED configuration somewhere and this part is finished. And now you can see in the ports list that we actually need to use four SD card controllers to control a little bit more than 7000 LEDs. Which is, I need to emphasize that, it is uh, a less than a half of uh, Pix Blaster's LED controller's capacity. And now with the defined uh, display layout, which is, by the way, of not, no, no importance for the Pix Blaster's controller, I'm going to program some things. Okay, the default program one is here and add some effects. Here is the embedded effects library with some nice LED effects like, like this one or with fireworks, which is nice looking effect. And if you want to display this controller, you need to record it here in this application. So before recording, I will set up the animation speed to the maximum of 30 frames per second. And I will start recording. Now you can see that number of uh, recorded frames is increasing. And let me stop it now. It means that we have prepared 266 frames of this effect for use uh, in our playlist. Let's call it that way. So when you click here for preview, you can see this, this effect playing. Besides the embedded effects, you can find online some other effects libraries. And I have found one, downloaded for free. And this library is actually includes and this library includes several effects that look quite good and I like particularly this one so let me start recording again and now you can see that number of frames is increasing so let 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 it play for a while and then stop recording now when I use the preview button you can see that our fireworks effect is practically followed by the fire effect and now fire effect. Okay, and the last step here is to export your playlist for use with the LED display. So here you can see many export options, but they, they all work with the SD card controllers and cannot be used with the Pixbusters controller. But this one, export video as MPEG-4, is practically all what we need. So when I click here, I can store 
the video clip named Pixie Test to my computer and when I open the folder and play the video clip you can see that we have uh, our effects playing as a native video 120 by 60 pixels. Here we play effects generated by the LED edit software by our PixBusters online video controller. The MP4 compression might insert some artifacts in the video output, though I use the controller with a bit aggressive gamma correction. PixBusters controller works with any computer and, for example, you can easily use it with the Raspberry Pi and other low-cost single board computers with the monitor output. It is simple as that. Let me summarize. With the PixBlasters LED controller you can play any content suitable for monitor display at the full speed. Yet, if you need additional effects or a sophisticated tool to design your own effects, the LED edit might be a right choice and it works with our controller. Thank you for watching.